Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your weekend energy for all signs, the collective. And let's start with the head of your reading. I don't think there's any news I need to tell you. Other than check the description below for any more information. At the head of your reading we have the Magician. Virgo energy, Gemini energy, the number one, new beginnings, weekend energies right off the cuff is taking action, manifesting, bringing things into reality to a fire at the crossroads. So some of you are not thinking, how am I going to do this? There is something that you want to do. You're just not sure how you're going to do it. Some of you may even be quite exhausted at the crossroads. We can see a guardian or a guide leading the way with the hermit's lantern. At the heart of your reading is the soulmate. Two of cups. Now... We are manifesting soulmates this weekend. Woohoo! The chariot. This is success that is racing towards you. So you must be doing something right in the way of manifesting. Ten of water. This is about emotional fulfillment in the home environment, security satisfaction <coughs> oh, pardon me ace of earth a new beginning all right so for some of you this is about a new person coming into your life for others this is about a new beginning with your soulmate and for Still for others, this is about a new beginning in career opportunities, revenue streams. Eight of Earth. So we have success racing towards you. Eight of Earth is about research, studies, scholarships, mastering something. Being well-rooted and grounded, harmonizing, branching out. So success is racing towards you. We're going to be talking about um, bringing more security into the home. Security and relief in the home. Something new beginning for you and a soulmate. Now at the head of your reading, you may be trying to manifest a soulmate. Or you're trying to manifest a more secure environment for you and a loved one. Crown Chakra to clarify the magician. This is very high level energy fields. The Crown Chakra uh, being balanced or open is all about the umbilical cord to source. That feeding energy from... Uh, meditations, visions, dreams. At these crossroads, yeah, you're quite exhausted. Discontent, boredom. Your guides are literally carrying you this weekend. <laughs> you may be taking action and open. Oh, well, look, here we have the crown chakra with the magician. Quite connecting to that higher source perhaps it is that higher self or higher power is understanding this discontentment this boredom this need for a change and is taking you there it may be a matter of just having a little faith Wow, okay, we got soulmates and true loves and twin flames and the whole nine yards. We've got the coupling. This is about divine timing, divinely guided. 
your guides are taking you here for, for whatever you're going through in your life right now. This is where you're headed. That unity, spiritual unity. It, it feels very much like if you don't know who this person is yet, you're already spiritually connected. Moving on, this is the Six of Swords energy, which is about calm, ease. Your success is racing towards you. But I think because of this, your guides are telling you to just take it easy. Just take it easy. Meditate. Get in Zen with yourself. These are calmer waters you're going to. This feels like the big sigh of relief that um, the struggles maybe for the past week are lifting. Balance. Oh, look at that. A nice balance in the home. A nice balance in the home. Bringing that content. Material harvest. All right, you guys. Some of you truly are um, finding a new revenue stream. A new career. A new ability. Something that brings into the home brings that balance getting those bills paid stocking the pantry and some of you are moving to a new home there is disruption here it could be um, an interruption to what you've been studying you know maybe school is cancelled An interruption of your work. Though this very strongly feels with these other cards, because of the layout of these other cards, this may come as a, a real surprise to you that you are in demand. Your abilities are in demand. Your work, your creativity, uh, your, you know, if you are an artist, that your art is in demand. Or suddenly, with this new revenue stream, suddenly this order comes in and that you've got to fill and you're like, wow, all right, Monday I'm going to have to hit the ground running. And maybe some of you will start here early. Patience. Oh yeah, this really strongly feels like, take the weekend, take the weekend to meditate to get grounded so that these energies can come through the crown and literally embed themselves into the earth, anchor into the earth to manifest this strong foundation. And this, when it comes to this uh, disruption, that's building on a strong foundation. The tower can be the taking down, the dismantling of old ways of being, old ways of doing things. This is guiding you to take the time to be still, to be quiet. Again, there's a lot about divine guidance and timing here. An old way ending, a cycle ending, Recognition and reward. Some of you may even be meeting this person this weekend. And it's recognition at first sight or love at first sight. Finding that this soulmate or partner. Maybe more just more than just a partner of love, but a partner of inspiration support Oops, I didn't
didn't want to pull these cards. I wanted to pull these cards. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens and remove yourself from negative emotions. Because there is happy news about your career coming in here. Again, like scholarships or well thought out plans that are going perfectly. It is the same as this card. High Priestess. Intuition. Trust your intuitions here. This may be careful reflection because of this card. Careful reflection. And insights that are going to come through this meditation. Things being revealed. If you, things will be revealed to you. If you take that time this weekend to be still. There's something about studying here. Research. Um, perhaps this is why your guides want you to take the time this weekend to be still. Or to meditate and allow things to be revealed to you. But there is something coming towards you in the way of an offer. Perhaps it's even um, coming from this person if you've been on the outs with a soulmate. That they're coming forward to calm the waters bring stability back in the relationship now here is you feeling stuck but this is this is a lack of confidence in your abilities they are there they are moving towards success but there may be a lack of confidence in those abilities definitely up in your head and worried out of proportion to what the guides are trying to tell you here get out of your own way you know if someone seems or something seems catastrophical for you um it's again it's there could be an overreaction here. An overreaction to the reality. Let's get some therapy here from the angels for some advice. Some advice or therapy from the angels. Clearly, you need to take some time to be quiet, to be still, to allow things to unfold or be revealed to you. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments of fear that stem from your past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. This could be it. If this is about a new love, you may be in fear of repeating the past. We have the solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. But cut the cords from the past. This feels about, this feels like, you know, some of you are lacking some confidence in yourselves, which is why you absolutely should take the time to be still and listen to what your guides want to tell you. Is there a, one more message the angels want to say to the collective? Books. 
your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, selling spiritually based books, or this is about the need to research more, to study more, to understand more, maybe whatever capacity that brings you to, whether it's world history or, well, we know that the books on world history are mostly BS now um, and new things are unfolding. Perhaps that's what it is. These new things that are unfolding. We're in the age of Aquarius now. New technology is starting to leak out. Are you going to be a part of that? That revealing, that spreading of good news. This is Whispers of Love. These are oracle cards for attracting more love into your life. And the little Law of Attraction cards. Or my little Law of Attraction deck. What is the message for the collective for attracting more love into their life? One or two cards, please. A message for attracting more love into our lives. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love, be more loving. I was listening to a lecture of, um, it was Jordan B. Peterson, someone had asked him about empathy because they didn't feel like that they were very empathetic. You know, people were uh, crying over uh, something that happened to someone and this person didn't feel like crying. Like they, they didn't feel really anything. Is that bad? And no, not necessarily. Peterson pointed out uh, the five different combinations of personality traits that are good or bad. But one thing he said that was really interesting, and I thought very good advice, is to do something for someone. You know, it's good exercise to do something for someone else. And it is something that I believe gets those attraction, uh, law of attraction working for you quite beautifully just doing something for someone else. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Good or bad. Everything has its gift. And it's up to us whether we want to pluck that fruit or bring back negative energies bunch of negative nancies nothing good ever happens to me and nothing good ever will in that in that uh, muddy soup of energies I hope that helped and I hope you have a marvelous weekend be still do some meditations thanks for joining me and God bless Oh, and I hope you join me Sunday night too when I go live to pull free cards for the party in the chat. Bye-bye for now.